Rock, 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 barrel on the track, boy. All right, so I think I've showed a TV before. It's been a little while. Um, and I think I've showed uh, computer screens. They both kind of run about the same thing. Um, but we're going we're gonna to tear this down um, on camera here just so y'all can see it. So this is actually a laptop screen. Most of the time there's a couple screws. You just got to find them. They normally have the little things over top of them. So... It looks pretty and all. Anyway. So they run about the same as far as tear down and parts. Um, your computer screens are not going to have all those boards in them that the, like a TV does or a big computer screen might have. But there is still some wires and a few boards and a little bit of shred. And again, you have to be guided by your, um, your scrapyard on what they will or won't let you get away with. So my scrapyard, well, I'll show y'all when I get there, what I actually, what I do with these. And it, it helps me a whole lot. Um, but I don't take them just a straight load of, of like screens. That would be kind of ridiculous. So once you've taken the screws out, most of the time you can kind of get under the inside here. And it just pops off all the way around. Get you to the inside. Sometimes there'll be a screw or two up here holding it in. Sometimes it's not, but always take a look before you go trying to yank on it. All right, so you got your little board down here. I'm not exactly sure what this board does. Um, it does have some components on it. Uh, it's got a little bit of copper in this right here. Um, you could probably break it and maybe get mid-grade out of this or something. Um, leave it like it is. Send it as low grade. Pull the chip off and the copper off. Send it as low grade. Multiple options. Different people do things different ways. And so on. So normally, the screen... Will fall on out here reasonably easy if there's no screws in it. And it looks like it's trying to be held on over here on the side by something. I'm not exactly sure what. It's amazing how easy everything works until you turn the camera on and all of a sudden. You run into the problems you haven't ever encountered before. All right, so that's what it is. These spots right here. And you're not doing any good work if you haven't stabbed yourself with a screwdriver a few times. So as you can see, there's a screw in it right here. So I'm going to see if I can't pop these off and get these screws out. You don't normally have this on a computer screen, but every now and then you do. It seems to be more related to how old the laptop is. Uh, most of your new ones just kind of pop in and out without much of a problem. But I believe that's aluminum. Not positive, but we will find out here in a minute. So... So there's that side.
This uh, doesn't want to be quite as nice. Yeah, I'll sweep that up later. All right, let's try this screen falling out again. Well, there's something. All right, there we go. All right, so we do have a wire running up here. So yeah, that's going to be like cast aluminum. So we'll pull all the pieces off of it and toss it in the cast aluminum. And some of your laptops are the, the whole case is aluminum, bottom and top. Of course, they're normally the older ones, but they are built better. So, and we got a little piece of plastic up here. I'll try to get that out. There we go. All right. Nice piece of cast aluminum there. So, this is going to be shred. This is a little wire. So, we'll cut that off and put it with our wires. This is a little itty bitty little board i normally throw those that's most of the time for like your your internet your wi-fi i normally just toss that over in there it's like the antenna for it or whatever so you peel that piece off you unplug that from that board and then you've got uh, this one isn't that one's silver most of the time that's gold pins so you can put that with your gold pins this could be nothing or it could be gold pins or it just depends it ripped off eh, whatever uh, this piece right here definitely gold pins some pretty nice ones at that and then you've got this side down here which most of the time we've already cut off because it come from the computer and it makes it easier to separate everything. So, normally I just cut that off, toss that in a shred. There's nothing on that. So we'll take and cut this off. Now if you're one of those people that wants to get the golden stuff off of things, this is one of those plugs that is easy. Um, because they're all, I mean, they're right there. You can cut both sides, it peels apart. You end up with just the wire and the gold tips. Sometimes I keep these and sometimes I just toss it in with the gold ends. And put this with our wire. So our frame here, a lot of times I leave the frame on there, this part. Um, Sometimes I take it off. It depends on what I'm trying to do. Most of the time, though, I am. I'm going to cut these wires. I'm going to try to get these wires. They're normally just tucked in there. So there's all those wires. So I'm gonna take all this. And uh, clean it up a little. So all these wires I'll take and put with the rest of the wires. And that brings us to the important part here. So these boards on your TVs, um, on your 
not just the TVs, but computer screens and TVs both. Flat screen TVs, I might add. Um, these are high grade. Um, well, not all, but I'd say so far about 99% of them are. The ones I've run across anyway. Uh, some of them have a screw in the side. Most of them don't, but some of them do. So you, it's always something good to check for. And you pull this off. I normally just take it like so. I'll put a little bit of back pressure on it. Kind of twist it around a little bit. And those peel right off. So if you look at the back, you'll see gold. If you look at the front, you'll see gold all over it. That's what makes it a high grade peripheral board. So I put these with my high grade peripheral. You can see there, some of them are real flimsy, tiny. Some of them are thicker, all kinds of different sizes and weights. These right here, I have not had anybody yet tell me what exactly to do with them. Um, most time I throw them into the wire. You can go as far as pulling them off the screen where it attaches to the screen. The only ones I worry about doing that with are the ones that are like massively plated with gold. Um, most of these do not look like they have much gold on the ends of them. But you can see where they're attached to a, a gold plate, you know, line of gold there. So most of the time I'll take these and I cut them off just in case until I find out otherwise. And I'll drop that in with my gold stuff. I'll take this and drop it in with my wires because that's what it is. It's a wire. So again, just take scissors, cut it right off. Drop that in with your wire. Now, with that said, what I have left, so far, my scrapyard has let me take it in as shred. Um, but, as I said, I don't just carry that in. I'll carry in, you know, 15, 20 TV screens and uh, a whole bunch of other shred where they're mainly covered. Um, I don't really leave it sitting out there for them to see. So far, I mean, there's been a guy standing out there and sees what dumps out of my trailer. Pretty sure y'all seen a couple of my other videos. So, you you know, you can tell what came out of my trailer when I dump it. And uh, so far, they haven't said anything to me about it. So, as long as they aren't saying anything, it must be okay. And I'm going to keep on getting on like I'm doing. But I would never just take them a full trailer load of these. Um, I split it up amongst different trailers. Uh, the screens that are in these have a pretty good amount of weight to them. So it really helps us out on the scrapping end. And uh, I do try to clean a bunch of the junk off. So it's not a whole lot of junk going. So there it is. That's how you do uh, flat screen TV screens, uh, computer screens, and laptop screens. Um, not a whole lot of money in them, but I mean the last load of these I took with some other stuff was like $160 or something like that. Even as low as shred price is right now. So it wasn't, wasn't bad, but I mean it was a whole lot of screens in that and a whole lot of other stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it. I take them apart mainly for this board right here um, and the shred. If the case is aluminum, I've got that too, but other than that and a little bit of wire, it's not a whole lot in them. If you take apart a, a flat screen TV, you're going to have power boards. Uh, I might look something kind of like this. It's going to have transformers, coils of copper, aluminum heat sinks, all kinds of stuff. You can take them off. Uh, some places will let you leave it on the board and send it in as uh, low grade with all that stuff on there. 
but most of the time you're going to get more money if you take these off and send them in as as uh, motors than if you leave it on there as low grade and as you can see even though it's a power board it does have a couple chips on there some of them do some of them don't you can pull those chips off doesn't change anything low grade is low grade you got mosfets you can take off they go as number two copper most of the time your mosfets are going to be connected to some type of aluminum um, but all that takes a lot of time so it's up to you again trying to earn that quick money or you trying to get every cent you can um, if i'm doing it at home i'm gonna get every cent i can i'm gonna break it all down get every cent i can out of it some of them explode so you have to try doing it this way <laughs> yeah there we go um but you know i'm not sitting in a business it's not costing me anything extra other than time to sit here and do this and right now i'm not sitting in a business even though i have started one um so i can take that time to make those a couple extra dollars while i'm here at home if I was sitting in the business doing this, I would not be doing all this. I would send it just as it is and let it go. So, hope y'all enjoyed. Hope that was some good information for y'all. And uh, we'll catch y'all next time.